when to quit your job. When do you quit your job? Let's go into this world here where you're bootstrapping away. When you quit your job is a very, very personal question. If you are trying to build a startup as a side hustle, when do you quit your job? Well, here's what you do. You have to analyze how much your burn rate is, your cost of opportunity, and factor all that in there, plus your lifestyle, all those things, and come up with a number. I think something, it's called the true rate or something like that. I don't know. There's some scientific term out there, but I say cost of opportunity. So here's how I determine whether I'm going to quit my full-time job. One, my startup has to be generator of revenue, right? Then I have to do an analysis on how much money do I have in the bank, dry powder. And then I have to go, how much are my expenses? I have a mortgage. I've got kids. My wife doesn't work. I'm the sole breadwinner. My kids are going to college right now. They cost a lot of money. They're going to stay at home for as long as possible. All that stuff gets factored in. Then I look and I say, what is my lifestyle? My wife isn't going to love me anymore if I forced her to eat ramen noodles. If I was living in my parents' place and I was back and I was 20 some odd years old and I lived in my parents' place for a little bit and I was just making money hand over fist working in startups and I was paying like $300 rent. I didn't pay utilities, anything like that. I was banking cash. I could take a whole bunch of risks and I didn't have to work. But then there came a time where, guess what? I need to start to work and I was paying rent and I was married. I got a part-time job, right? So when do you quit? You have to factor that all in and you have to say, what am I comfortable with? You might have to have six months of expenses in the bank plus your salary saved up that's the reason they do this in franchise. They say you have to have six months or a year's worth of wages saved up before you actually go and open this franchise. You have to make that decision. And you have to know how confident are you in terms of if you quit, can you start making money? Therefore, the whole concept of I'm just going to quit because I have to make money, that only works that all in moment if you've got nothing else, nothing else, and you have your limited amount of burn and you can afford it. There are times where... When I went to China and I got seed investment from China, it was actually more like pre-seed. It's like a bridge, pre-seed bridge. Went to China and I didn't know how I was going to pay rent. It was my all-in moment. It was do or die because I had no other choice. I had to go to China to try and open up the market and secure that investment. I do not advise that. I still have the mental anguish and I still pay for therapy for my time in China. You know, it was really rough, you know, back then. So when you quit, that's a personal decision. But do it with data and do it with projections and do it using wisdom and go from there.